thought it was surprising the timing of the news. I think if he'd have announced this at the end of the season, it wouldn't have shocked me. I think he's alluded a few yeah. times, hasn't he, that it might be towards the end of his his reign. But doing it when he did, my mind started, and I can't help it, I watched way too much Vera and Poirot and stuff, but it started adding things together. <laughs> and then yeah. Xavi with Barcelona, that announcement, I was like, oh, there's something going on there. Him saying that he'd right. never manage in England again, but he didn't say he wouldn't manage England, did he? Yeah. You know, all these little things. <laughs> <and you're> thinking, <laughs> Is that a stretch? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. He didn't say... You... <laughs> I know. I, yeah, I must admit, I was surprised when he said that he'd never manage in England again. And I was like, oh, that's that's quite a statement to make. Mm. You know, the fact that... Is, is that because of his love for Liverpool or the fact that he just finds it harder? Yeah, I don't know. I just... I found the announcement was strange because, one, he'd already, he'd already told the board in November, apparently, wasn't it, yeah. that he was going to yeah. retire at the end of the season. And then I'm thinking, like, well, has somebody got hold of this, and they were going That's to come what out I've with heard. it? Apparently, yeah. one of the, allegedly one of the, the the big newspapers were going to leak it, and so right. that's why it's happened at oh. this point. Well, there goes they my theory to that, he, um, that he thought with the with the 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 League Cup being so far now in the final. I thought it was, oh, come on, guys! If I tell you all now, maybe you'll win all this stuff for me. <laughs> but that could go either way, though, couldn't it? I know. Yeah, I'm sure it. Uh, I'm sure it will because of you know I, I was listening on the radio. Well, well, it was just before they, they announced on the radio, just before I was taking Lee back to his home, and um, as they announced it, we we, ju- we just like looked at each other. We went, you know, like with like open mouths. We were like, oh my god, I can't believe that, you know. And then and then we were like, well, yeah, yeah, let <laughs> let him retire yeah, because he's too good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's, now he's one of those like, same. I know, yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, he's just been, he's been fantastic, hasn't he? You know, and it, and it will be a shame. But it's you know now the questions are is where, where does he go? I'm sure from what I was hearing from his interview and that that he's gonna, he's gonna have quite a rest. You know, because he's he's saying that he can't he can't not handle the pressure, but he can't he can't take it anymore. You know, he says that he's he's tired and he needs to. I'm sure he'll be uh, recharging the batteries in uh, on a nice warm beach somewhere for a, quite a while, and totally deserves it, by the way. Yeah, and isn't it nice that he's controlling the narrative? Yeah, he's able to say, "I'm bowing out now because I want to," rather than a club saying, "You know what, your time's up." Mm. Um, so but, yeah, I, yeah, but I think I think when you know because of what he's done at Liverpool. It was always going to be a, a case of when when he wanted because they were never you know, when you look at the players and the squad they've got and the squad that he's built, you know there, there was never really going to become a time when he was going to be asked to leave, was there? You know it was always going to be when he wanted, you know, and this is exactly how he how he's done it. You know, okay, he might have he might have had to announce it a little bit early, but he'd already made his mind up. He knew mm. what he was doing back in November. You know, so it just shows you how on it is, you know, and he knows what he needs for himself, which I really appreciate. Going back to your, your Poirot thing there, Linz, if if you start to add that together, does that indicate their movements within this transfer window? Do you think, hang on, so they won't go anything too big in this transfer window because if there is a new guy coming in at some point, well, you've got to allow him to have his blueprint on the the next yeah. iteration of the team moving forward I don't think that he will get many acquisitions in now no I think you're right and I think some of that is because they've spent so much already I mean you look at the the options that they've got up front I mean if they bought in another attacker it would be crazy wouldn't it I mean mm. I think Nunez as well is starting to come good um, so in terms of being prolific, I think they just need a bit more patience there. But apart from that, I mean, they've got goals from all over. And if there's one area that you'd look at, um, it might be another central defender. Um, maybe that's an area that they could have looked to strengthen. The other area might have been defensive midfield, but I think you can't have any complaints when it comes to Shobba's lie. And I think... As well, Enzo is growing the more that he gets opportunities in the game too. 
I think they've got some versatility in that area with um, midfielders that they can play more attacking or as deep defenders. So I don't know, as, unless you get a specialist in, I don't think there's that many areas, Adam, that they need to get reinforcements anyway. Well, having said that, and I, I, I hear what you're saying, do you think there's a couple of players there that have been around for a little while now that actually can go, well, hang on, the Jürgen chapter is done. I'm at a point in my career that I haven't got the time to go through it with another manager to try and win another Premier League. And they might look to to go to pastures new at that point. Can, is Salah going to well, stick yeah. around for someone think, else? Do you think Mo Salah might go next? Do you think this is I th- I think so. I th- to him saying Yeah. It? Yeah, but, but why it, I not? Think, yeah. There's, there's a lot on who comes in as to mm. like the appeal of that. Um mm. Yeah, that's a good question. That will will Salah stick around now? But um I'd like to say yeah, you know, and whoever comes in, I, you know, I, I totally agree with you, Lindsay, that the I think you're going to leave it as it is because he'll just go right. There's the squad that I've built. Do what you can with that. I don't think there'll be there'll be much activity in this win- in this January window now. Obviously, it's right near the end. Um, and yeah, can you imagine like being a manager coming in to take over that squad. That's like daunting. That's pretty good, that isn't it? You know, like taking and over the all that. And, I know. Yeah, yeah exactly. The academy's got so much talent as well. Yeah, you know, so it's a, it's a great it's a great post to take over, and I, I don't think there'll be a lot of ins and outs because, but as soon as the manager comes in, he'll, he'll obviously you'll see them in training straight away, and then he'll he'll have he'll get his own ideas in the summer, and then. You know, when when does the transfer window stop? It's normally like end of August, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The first of the the new season. You know, so I would imagine that the new manager coming in will, unless the, you know they're already uh, they already know their man. Historically, Liverpool in the in the last five six windows, they've always done their business ahead of time. Do you remember when they got Nabi, Nabi Cater in as a player, and it and he was there over in Germany for about another. Was it six, nine months before he came over to Liverpool? Mm. I think mm. they are a, a forward-thinking club. So I would imagine that they've already made their mind up. I can't think that this is up in the air, that Jürgen's gone to them since November and they're sat there going, oh, I wonder who we're going to have. What I would say is that had Steven Gerrard's reign at Aston Villa gone better, I think that that would have been the path that Gerrard would have gone down and he would have been taken over. That didn't happen. So. Mm. Yeah, Xabi Alonso wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me if that's already done. 